announcement. Peace. We're starting it live. Also, As Lincoln family. Like, um, um, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Together. It's time. been like... For the first time. It's, it's just time. been too long, honestly. It's been... It's been a long time. Since July, June. But you know the date or something? Yeah, it's been since June, since you guys have seen us. But welcome back <laughs> to two sisters on uh, either Tuesday or Thursday. But today is Thursday. Yay. Two sisters on a Thursday. And today we are going to talk about um, 2022. Because that was quite the year. How many X's is in your name? Is it in me? XX. Two X's. Mm. My, um, Don't mind me. Hey, I'm not being rude, y'all. I'm on my phone because I'm trying to find more things um, for our topic today. And yeah. it's, it's in my phone. Oh, look at this photo. Look at this photo of Sassy. They don't care about the cat. Her little mouth. Her little mouth. <laughs> they don't care about the cat. Her mouth was open. Dang, I don't. Oh, yeah, I can. Yay. That's my baby. Look at so, her little mouth. Look at that. Can we get some chocolate? They don't care about the cat. Yes, they do. Nobody cares about the cat. It's so cute. But we are talking about 2022. I know it's been like two weeks since it's been 2023, but who cares? We're going to talk about reflections, accomplishments, you know, things that we went through, overcame, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, without further delay, since it has been so long, Naya, do you mind? sharing who you are well i just said your name is naya but for those who may not know you know our new guests explain who you are yeah there's a lot of new people here oh i thought you were saying i was a new guest no peace i'm naya you don't have to talk like that <laughs> like what? you can talk normal that wasn't me talking normal i'm naya um <laughs> i am 20 years old and i am in my last semester in the College of Architecture undergrad. So in May, I will be graduating, um, inshallah. Um, and I'll have a degree and I'll be an architectural designer. Brings me to a lot. Yay. That's Naya. She, she has a lot of details. I'm not going to share as many details. My name is Nora. <laughs> um, I'm content creator slash influencer slash student of life, God, and teachings of the Muslim Prophet Muhammad. And... Yeah, I work in social media. That's about it. That's my description. And as we mentioned when we first came on, we are Two Sisters on a Thursday. We still don't have an official name, but <clears throat> two, sisters, two Sisters on a Thursday. Two Sisters on a Thursday. It's going to have to work. It was Two Sisters on a Tuesday. Or no, it was originally Two Sisters on a Thursday, and then it went to Two Sisters on a Tuesday. Yeah. And now we're back to being Two Sisters on a Thursday. Look at that. For now. Full circle. How exciting. But yeah. That is who we are, and again today we are going to talk about 2022 because it is very important to reflect on the year once it has passed. What is that? This is a beautiful bathroom. That's you not important. That? that is so beautiful. Oh my god. I love that. 2022, ladies and gentlemen. 2022. So, Naya, can you describe your 2022? In three words, and share why you use those three words. Just like the whole year. Healing. And I'm just listening to whoever that is, you know? It's the neighbors. You get the neighbor. You want to whisper to them? No, they can't hear you. Healing. Uh, sisterhood, healing, sisterhood, growth, healing, sisterhood, and growth. Good, good. Yeah, what about you? No, you're supposed to explain why you chose the two words. <laughs> <laughs> it's just two words. Um, we should have some music playing in the background. I'm grateful to Allah. That he blessed me with an opportunity to heal from something, which allowed me to grow from something. What was my other word? Sisterhood. 
And the sisterhood was so strong that it helped me get through what I was going through. Praise be to Allah. That's why it's important to have, <laughs> to have sisters. Because they got you. I'll praise be to Allah. That was fast. What about you? I don't you said you said <laughs> Three words. Um, trying. Oh. Um, look at that. They don't care about the cat. <laughs> they just look cute. I'm trying to get rid of this, but like, oh wow. What? All the comments being like up here. You can cut them off like to be done. You gotta go like it's too far. I, I couldn't. Mm. I, the three words. <laughs> trying. Yes. Try. I don't know Try. how to say. Tiredness. I was tired. Say about you. Sleepy. You had your part. <laughs> Real. Or raw. And. I don't know. That's like two words. Real. I choose one. Trying. Trying. Sleepy. No, it was not sleepy. Disorienting. Yeah, I got sleep. Um, Confused. No, it's just <laughs> coming to reality. So, like, mm -hmm. that's like a whole sentence. That's not necessarily one word. How do you even say that? Coming to reality. Just, I don't know. Mentally. Happy safe stay. Happy safe stay. I don't know how to say that. Happy but safe stay? No. The word trying, real, trying real, and real loving, slash raw. compassion. What does that have to do with? Well, no, that's not the word. <laughs> I'm thinking of another word. Um, Behind every successful woman is herself. No, <laughs> that's just that's what this is. I didn't say that. I think I can say sisterhood too. For my three words. Yeah, the sisterhood was real. So. Trying, real raw sisterhood. Trying because I literally suffered from like a trial every single month <laughs> last year. No breaks. Even when I thought they were over, they just kept coming. It's um, never over. It was just, it was, a lot was just handing it to me. So it was a very trying year. <laughs> it was a very real slash raw year because I kind of had to come into a real perspective of like life. Instead of living in this fantasy world where I think stuff is just going to happen because I, because of Allah said, mm -hmm. you know, that we, it was going to mm -hmm. happen. Yes. But I wasn't really doing the work to make the things that I wanted happen. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was kind of like coming into that reality this year. Of the last year. Praise be to Allah. So, yeah. That's why I say real raw. But I don't know if that's the right word for what what's happening. No, I don't I know. That was Close enough. Like, Y'all understand what I'm saying. And then the third one, sisterhood, was because really the sisterhood is what got me through all of my trials, like everything, you know. Me. Of course. Oh. Tonight here, and Sister Amira, and so many other sisters. Just the sisterhood was what got me through every single trial this year, last year. So yeah. Procrastination. Yes, that was a big word. Procrastination? I guess on my growth, procrastination tied into my healing process. And it's because, you know, I had a whole bunch of other things to do, but now I have to heal. And I can only do one thing at a time. <laughs> things have dragged up. No! Why is that? Why did that happen? Because I set reminders for myself so I don't spend too much time on you. <laughs> How do you do that? Settings. I, I never do it. I just be like, no, let's clean it off. Because I have a problem. But yeah, those are my three words. That was 2022 for me. Very difficult, but I always look at the brighter side. I am grateful for the year because now I know much more about myself. And through the trials, I was able to see what was in me that needs to be corrected, that needs to be purified or cleansed and just removed. You know? Praise me to Allah. That's what matters. If you go through a trial and mm -hmm. you don't take anything away from it, you might go through it again. Oh, you will. And I did. Yeah. Learn from my mistakes. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Just get it over with whenever it first comes. Just, just. Yeah. You don't want to go through it again. Just take it. The <laughs> only way out through it again. is through. Yes. Not under. Get that around. Put it in the closet. Yeah. Don't Make try to come back from there. Just, just get it over just with now. Go through it. You don't Face have to worry it. about it again. Head on. 
See, this is nice in person. We get to like hype each other up. We can't do that on it's um, we're um, in different places mm -hmm. because then it cuts off. You can't hear what you're saying, and I can't hear it. And everybody can't. Truly. But we made it happen for like six months last year. That's an accomplishment. We did something for six months. Really? Yeah. I don't think it was straight. I think it was six months. Maybe we didn't do anything because we were gone. But we, we did it for six months and then we stopped. Every yes. week? Oh, we may have did it for Three six months, months but until you just not had, every week. Yeah, until you had like finals and stuff. Yeah. And stop. And I thought I was going to move in June. That's kind of another reason why we stopped. And then July. You guys see that That's though? July. Doesn't that look so real? I painted that. That's a painting. It's an she painted here. that. I was there. I was at that place. She wasn't there when I painted it, but. I mean, no, I wasn't there when she painted it. I was there when she took that photo to paint, I guess. See, like from yeah. the from the camera, that looks really real. All right, but <laughs> next question: <laughs> What is the greatest lesson? That you believe a lot taught you last year or was teaching you through everything that you went through last year? I don't know. You still don't know the lesson. You gotta marinate a little more. Uh, I wouldn't say that's the greatest lesson. I learned a lot of lessons. I can't say that one I always saw. The one that stood out the most? I mean, there were, it was all something I needed to learn. Um, if not, that wouldn't be a lesson that I got. That lesson. So many things stood out the most. For me, it was faith was how works is dead. Every single month, that was a lesson. Every single month, I understood it more and more. So. And that everything will happen in a lot of timing and not mine. Even from the start of this year, you remember we were supposed to go? Um. <laughs> We were supposed to go to Arizona. Arizona. We oh booked God. a trip and everything. Don't don't tell what happened. Well, either way, the, the trip didn't happen. Did not happen. And we were um, prohibited from going. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say that. But even with that, for me, that was kind of like, all right, this is just this going to be a different year. This is going to be the year that if a lot of want something to happen, it's not going to happen. And we just have to be okay with that, or at least I have to be okay with that. Because that was just kind of like, wow, okay, cool. Because it was just, the reason why the trip didn't happen was just really eye-opening for me. That I was, don't know if she could take it. It was so but. unexpected. <laughs> because why did it, how, why? Why did that have to happen? It was but you lesson. know, we weren't meant to, what is this? Somebody <laughs> threw up on you. No, why would you say that? No, I came from work. Okay, I have on my chef coat still. It's soft. And something splashed all over my arm over here. And now it's dried and probably crumbling on a nurse furniture. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You're welcome. You've been everywhere, too. Mm -hmm. Dropping flakes. You've been everywhere in this house <laughs> dropping soup flakes. I didn't go in there yet. Don't go in there. Um, but yeah, I that was my lesson. A really good lesson that I learned was that, well, I don't know how to word this specifically, mm. but it, it had to do mm -hmm. with, draw a picture. I don't think that would really help at all. Okay. I think that would make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, patience through foolishness. Patience through foolishness. Yeah, yeah pretty much, pretty much. A lot of foolishness, definitely. Um, I don't, I don't know how to word this, so I'll just give an example. Say through architecture, um, my projects, my projects have always been good, but they're just good. It was never anything more than good. And it wasn't until I realized that good. Allah, my teachings, my passion, and our mission has to be included in every single thing that I do. And when it is included in every single thing that I do, um, the outcome is not just going to be good. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. And it's going to be, what did, what did they, what did they do? They go like this or something. Chef's kiss. Yeah. But how you doing? No. Yeah. That. The victim. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's that when you involve Allah and 
wow. God and wow. the teachings and mission and truth into the work that you do. You will be successful and Allah will be with you. And and that you have to ask Allah, like, Allah, please be with me. Don't leave me and help me help me make this project successful, Allah. And then no one comes in there. Yeah, Allah, I don't know to if I explain that, you know. No, it makes sense. Same thing happened to me last year. I was really understanding that Allah and the mission and the people who come first. And when you come with that motive with everything you do, Allah will bless you um, tremendously. So, even with my content, actually, that was one of my accomplishments from um, last year. Was that I finally started getting monetized from a social media platform. I've been creating content since 2017, 18. And like no platform was really paying me other than TikTok. But TikTok was playing around. But Instagram, they finally started paying me for my content. But it wasn't until I just started posting the content that I was moved to post and not just something that I'm posting just to post, just to get views and like likes. I'm not flicking anything on you. I feel like someone just wore my ass. So what? You got stuff all over here because of your shirt. Okay, Never but even. I wouldn't do it all that. Never even. Okay. You made me lost my thought. I learned that Anora is hard headed. I'm not hard headed. In 2022. That is what I learned. I mean, I'm decently <laughs> hard headed too. <laughs> I'm not hard headed. I just am strong willed. Very stubborn. It's strong willed. Hard headed. My mind is made up to do something. Ask you for something it's and then not time. listen. <laughs> Like example, no, I'll today get the response. She asked me I something, want. and I said no, and then she's like, "But no, 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 no," and I'm like, "Then sure." And she's like, "But well, you weren't supposed to tell me that. You supposed to tell me no." I'm like, "I said what I said but the first time." I want the response that I want, and then when you give me the right response, I'll go with it. Not hard headed, strong will. No, definitely hard. <laughs> Not everybody is meant to be listening. To you saying I'm not meant to be listened to? I'm not saying I'm listening to you. Why listen to you? When I feel like you, you think that you listen to me. When do I not listen to you? <laughs> you don't. Sometimes, sometimes you just listen to me. When do I not? Sometimes you just be doing your own thing. Because. Okay. I, I get moved right. to do things. And it does, what I do a lot of the time, <laughs> most of the times, makes absolutely no sense to anyone. Really like moving to Chicago with little to no money. Like, everybody doubted me all summer that I was actually going to be able to pull this off, including my parents. They were like, you ain't going to do it. You ain't going to be able to do that. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no job. But I said, you know what? I feel like I'm supposed to do this. I don't have a clue how it's going to get done, but I know it's going to get done. Just like I did with my first apartment. And lo and behold, it happened. And I, I proved everyone wrong. Yeah. Because Allah told me to do something. And when I had faith, and I just... Have feelings to do stuff. I just do it. And then Allah bless me. And it just happens. And it stresses me out. And it's not understandable <laughs> to most people. Because me. hey, Allah tells me to do things. I just, I just listen. And it's not ever going to make sense. It's like if you have a vision for something, not everybody has that vision. Not everybody's going to have that. They're not going to understand. But as long as you understand. Doesn't that smell good? I don't smell anything. You don't smell it? No. But as long as you understand your calling. Can you get that out of my face? You don't smell it. looks like... I can't think No, of it doesn't. <laughs> Whatever you can say, no, it doesn't. It looks disgusting. You don't smell that? It's like cold hot chocolate. You don't smell that? Mm. COVID? No. <laughs> it smells like warm, cold tea. But yeah, not everybody's going to see what you see. Well, Allah blesses you with a vision. It's not meant for everybody to see. Can you read that comment? Sometimes faith makes you do things that get you in trouble with your friends. <laughs> I said that. No, I did not say that. But it's very true. No, he said that. It's very true. Mm -hmm. Like, they thought that I was crazy. I'm like, all Anora. Of the <laughs> I'm like, somebody but I said, her, hey, hey, listen to me. But look, like a week later. I got like a client and I was able to pay my rent and stuff. It was just like oh, praises, so the loud. most insane stuff happens to me. But I'm like, it's because of what family. What are you about to do? They literally thought I was going to be 
kicked out. I just got here and I just was not gonna be able to pay rent. It was just, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was just like chilling, living, praying, because that wasn't the first time that that has happened. Like 2022 beat me up so much to where I was just like, I already know a lot going. He gonna come through. I don't know how. I don't know when, but he is going to come through and. Stress is not going to change the situation. If I'm stressed out, I won't be able to think about what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. So I can get out of the situation. So I just, last year was just like, hey, let go and let God. As long as I'm doing the work, he's going to come through. I think it's so crazy how different everybody's years and experiences are, you know, in that year. Like, 2021 for me, that was my trial. 21? I'm that, 22. I just said 21. Okay, I thought you mixed up the day. No. Okay. That was my trial. And to my 2022 was me healing from that. So, bravely told that my, my trials were very different from my nurses. We were in different <laughs> stages of our life. I mean, no, we're, our trials are probably always going to be different. <laughs> But yeah, accomplishments now. Let's get to that. <laughs> yeah, who's starting? Are we, do, should we go like back and forth, one in one? We can. I can start. I lost my job 2000, December 2021. However, I was able to pay my rent every single month the entire year of 2022. Despite at some times having like no money. It was crazy. Isn't that so cute? No. Why are you wearing a blue? That's me. I took these off. Because I was matching. That was the theme. That was the only thing I was matching. It was white and blue. It's white and blue theme. But you only had blue. I don't just have blue clothes that color. You can ask them, honey. I don't like that color. Can you ask the question? Um. Um. I don't know. Where do I start on my list? The first one. I don't know, I just said the first one that was on my list. I labeled them one through like 23. You did not. No, I didn't. I just was writing things down <laughs> as I went. Um, okay, I'll say this. In December, um, 2020, what? 20, 2022, December 2022, last yeah. semester. I just started this semester December on Monday. December 2022. Okay. Last semester, my project, the one that I posted on Instagram, if anybody saw it. That project um, was chosen by my professor to be um, the representation of what my studio was about. Um, every year, the mm -hmm. School of Architecture. Yeah. Every year, the School of Architecture has a. What's it called? It's your school. I. <laughs> beats me. Um, oh, a year end show. And they display like the best projects from each studio. Um, chosen by the professors um, that really tell you what the studio is about and my professor chose my project I need to go up. it was a very interesting then, project I'm not trying to brag I'm, not, I'm gonna leave that part on it's not bragging he said I said I'm so honored that you chose my project I'm not gonna say it I'm not gonna say it okay but all praise is due to a lot <laughs> I couldn't have done it without Allah. Allah in the teachings gave me the inspiration for that design. And so if you want to see the design on the page. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Okay, your turn. I hope that project. She did. She made she helped with the physical models. She made the ovens Counters. and stove. The stove and oven. Where is that? Did you throw it away? No. They need it for the show. And I don't throw my good models away. And yeah. the refrigerators in each of my models. It was a lot of fun. It was not fun. I changed my mind. It was very stressful. I think if I would have started See, earlier. Now she, she sees how it is. No, but I feel like if I would have started earlier, it would have been fine. I didn't know that. <laughs> you needed them when you needed You them. always have a time crunch. You didn't give me a time crunch. You just said. I said, I need them ASAP. And then days later, she said she still didn't start. 
I'm like, what happens? I said I need, ASAP. A nerd needs dates. I said I need them ASAP. But I need dates. That's how I work. I put it on the calendar. We'll have it so like I know. Ten months later, after the finals already. The calendar's over. right there. All right. Yeah, I yeah. see a date. Next. I know how to map out Next. my time, <laughs> months, whatever. <laughs> um, I unexpectedly received more money than I ever have last year for my 2021 tax return so like i don't know if i can say don't say on the internet don't, no, but no, don't do that <laughs> <laughs> i got more money out of like it seems like nowhere but of course you know i file my taxes or whatever but like that was my first time filing my own taxes as a freelance contractor so i didn't really know what to expect i didn't really know anything was gonna work and so I was a little, I was a little, I was a little afraid of how everything's gonna work, but I was literally blessed to have received, to receive a quite, I don't know, say the number, but I received a lot of money, and I was able to pay for my bills for the rest of my, what is it, my lease at my first apartment before I moved. So I'll praise you to a lot for that. Praise be to Allah. Mm -hmm. Please follow your blessings, y'all. Every year. Mm -hmm. On time. Even if you're an entrepreneur. It's really yes. <laughs> difficult as an entrepreneur. I really don't like thinking about it. But you I have know, to. No, taxes just seem so stressful. It is. Hey, please do it. But it's better than. It's better than not doing it and then having to pay. Getting arrested. Because you owe them money. Yeah. Or you can become like a millionaire and like, let's say you don't pay your taxes now, but you become a millionaire. Dad look back and be like, hey, you didn't pay your taxes. Take all your money. Country sucks. But I, I'm not gonna say something. Your turn. <laughs> all right. I truly learned that a man has got, like the minister teaches us. He said, this is the minister's quote now. Mm -hmm. He's got to be worthy of you, mm. or he's not worth having you, end quote. And I truly came into the understanding of that. Not that I didn't understand it sooner, but I guess it just made more sense. And I also really deeply understood why the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said that there's no such thing as a no good woman. A no good woman was made that way by a no good man. And I just, I don't know, all of those quotes... I started to understand more, like a nation can rise no higher than its woman. Not that I didn't know it before, but I just got so much deeper into it. I don't know how to explain it. No, I like, understand. I really get it. Everything's it's clicking. So cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like wow. Yeah. Okay, that is so turn. right. This was It was the same thing for me from last year, specifically with the quote, a nation can rise no higher than this woman. Like that was starting to make sense in every single aspect of that quote. It you know, all starts with us. Hmm? I said I only yeah. wanted to be here 30 minutes. Well, you don't want to keep adding stuff, showing pictures of cats. I mean, this is just getting long. And dogs. <laughs> not dogs. Um, I further understood my purpose last year. I'm not I further understood my purpose. Praise be to Allah. To an extent. And I want to mention that I am now approaching my sixth year of being a registered member of the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. And Master Father Muhammad, by the age of six, he knew what he was supposed to be doing with his life. And I kind of feel like I'm kind of I'm coming into knowing what I'm supposed to be doing with my life in my sixth year of being in the nation. So yeah. I'm praying this through to Allah. Beautiful. Um, I'm just going to read what I have. Okay. Because we didn't move. I received a um, $2,000 grant towards my business, um, E-Produce, which stands for Eternally Embracing Earth, Money. from Sister Saraja, who's the owner of Little Herbs Co. And that is being used towards my business. And y'all will see very soon um, what that looks like. Stuff is really expensive, too. Especially now. But all praises due to Allah. So happy about that. Your turn. 
Yay. Um, I accepted and began to overcome my imposter syndrome and my lack of belief in self. That was a huge hindrance of me doing things. Like just starting my own stuff. Or just focusing on just my stuff and not trying to do stuff for other people. No, I will be blind. Oh, I know that's hard. But yeah, that was an accomplishment from last year. It's okay. I'm used to it. I think you should take your own. No, I will be blind. Can I do see? See what? Just to see what you look like. Though. You know what I look like without my no, glasses. No, I know, but I'm not just there. They know what I look just, like without my glasses. Why? Yeah. Leave those glasses out. I can't see. You don't need to see. Absolutely anything. You don't need to see. I can't even see my words. It pretty hurts. Maybe you no. have a headache after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm taking the leather off when it's time to go to bed. It's your turn. Why did you put them in? Contacts? Mm. No, I don't want to wear them. They're not my prescription anymore, so they make my eyes hurt. Yeah, why don't you get more contacts? I always forget it. Okay, anyway. I think I have to go to walk. My next accomplishment for 2020. Praise be to allow. See, you grow your see. own food. What do they say? I have my contacts in. <laughs> okay, congratulations. I don't. I said, what are they saying? Innovative. Just so much light. Just circle of light right there. Innovative I'm God said, I'm growing, growing my, my own, own food. food. Like, every, every year. Ah. Oh. Saves my family money. In, in due time. time. Let me get a house. Praise be to allow. And some grass. You know, just work in my garden. No. Yes, you for free. You're not alive. Yay. 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 I want a house um, in a no, warm place. I need a greenhouse. I need a house. Okay, my next accomplishment was that in 2022, a my space. Turn. No, I didn't go. You just went. A space was dedicated oh, to my home. business, um, Eternally Embracing Earth. It's on a lot, and I'm working on setting up the garden still. E3. Yes, E cubed. E to the third power. And I'm so excited. I have a space, it's on a lot. And it'll be set up for the people in the community. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Don't do that. Just because we on camera. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm doing that. All right, come on. This process is getting April fourteenth, two thousand twenty-two. <laughs> Nora and Nora became a legal entity. I got my LLC that day. Praise be to Very proud of myself. I'm not under the radar. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Um, in 2022, I became the president of NOMAS UIC chapter. Who's that? Um, NOMAS is the National Organization of Minority Architecture Students. Yeah, that was, and. What's minority? I'm asking you. Really anyways, I, I don't even know what the minority is. Um. Oh and I'm doing, I'm, I'm striving to do my thing with the help of Allah. She's striving to do her thing. Mm -hmm. She's doing mm -hmm. too many things. So. Yeah, that too. Okay, your turn. I got four clients this year. This year? Mm hmm Last year. Four. Very proud of myself. You only have four clients last year? Four like contract clients that were paying me on a monthly basis for my services. There we go. That's what we need to hear. Yeah. I had uh, many other clients. I could not count. I did a lot of things. It's okay. But um, I, I service my community. Praise be to Allah. In the way in which I knew how. Praise be to Allah. Okay, you done. All right. Um, I attended the AIA conference and worked at the AIA conference. The AIA, um, AIA is the American Institute of Architects. Um, they have a very big conference every year. And I was fortunate enough to be able to attend for free. But that was because I had, I was working. But I got to attend the rest of it. That was summer. At that time. Yeah, yeah. And I wore a garment I there. That. I was representing. And people saw me. Our brothers out here, and they were giving me the greetings. I'll praise you to a lot. Mine gets, gets the greetings everywhere. Next. I got some today. I did too. The shadow. 
Um, strengthen my sisterhood this year. Praise be to Allah. Um, I went to Florida, Texas, and Hawaii. I did too. I traveled. She didn't go to Hawaii. I was there in spirit. Yeah, she I'm was there over FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> I was practically there, you know. Riding boats and stuff. Swimming with dolphins. No swimming with dolphins. Okay. I was sh I strengthened and began healing my relationship with my mother last year. A lot of circumstances and situations kind of brought us together and we were forced to, you know, talk and bond and I was able to set up a boundary, which was new. I've never done that in my life. Cause you know, you live under your parents, kind of can't set boundaries. I mean, you can, but like, they're not going to follow them. Yeah. Because, you know, you're under their household. So I was able to do that last year and I was very proud of that. This is my chair. Mm -hmm. My house. I haven't taken care of her either. That's my accomplishment. Praise be to that's beautiful. When you said mother, the way you said mother, it made mother. me think of the SNL. <laughs> I am not I'm your not mother, saying. SNL. You, you said, I don't know, I, I can't mother. I can't say it again. But if you all watch SNL, they don't. This is the old SNL, this new SNL, you know, that's different. But um I love it. Okay, whatever. Um, my next accomplishment was that I was in modest fashion in question. Chicago. What question? I'm part of why you didn't do it too. I went to Oahu. I stayed with my cousin. Is that um, the big island? No. I don't know. It's not the main island, though. I've been to none of them, so. But um, I was in modest fashion week Chicago. I was in the fashion show and she did as a model. Praise she God. did a lovely job. I did what? A lovely job. Praise be to Allah. And then after that, um, I got more modeling jobs, I guess. You yeah. modeled at the retreat, too. I don't know if you did that in there. I did model at the Vanguard retreat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I took three trips in one month. Hmm? I took three trips in one month. Where? In the month of May, I went to Florida mm -hmm. with my auntie. I went to Texas with Amira. And me. That was in the same month. Yeah. Literally, we like got a week one day at home. And then the next day after we, from Florida to Texas, we were out again. It was so much fun. Where Honestly. Was where was the third place? I went to the San Fidel's, my family trip. Mm. First family vacation this year with my Parents, like, six children. All of us are kind of like adults now, and we're all in different places, so it's kind of hard for us to do stuff. And we had our first little trip this year. It was a lot of, last year, it was a lot of fun. That's so, nice. Three trips in one month. That's really nice. Um, I interned at the Sasha House over the summer. She did. Mm -hmm. I was there. Sasha House? She was there. Probably like a month, I think. Two months? Huh? I was there recording. With you, well, that was like one day, wasn't it? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. Um, You've been rocking back and forth. I was on the panel, I was on a panel with I Deny during the Vanguard retreat. <laughs> so that was fun, having to do the same thing. Four times. You should have said we, we hosted a workshop. For what? She's a part of I Deny, and I Deny hosted a workshop at the Vanguard Retreat. Yeah. Where she was on the panel. She was there too. Because she's a part of I Deny, if you don't know that. Divine Essence. We Media. are I Deny. We and are you know what we I do? Deny. We deny. deny. <laughs> Access. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I also oh. did an I Deny event in January. Hmm? I was a part of an I Deny event in January. Knew me better. New Year better me. New Year better me. Yeah. She was in there. Because she's a part of I Deny too. Yeah. Just in case y'all forgot. Your turn. 
Okay, this is two, but they, they're in the same category. So mm -hmm. I preserved lemons this year for the first time. And I also water glassed eggs for my first time. I was so excited. I, I had this big jar that was technically not supposed to be for storage or for like drinks. But <laughs> my grandpa gave it to me. And I had my pickling lime and my fresh eggs straight out of the chickens. Cleaned, not with water though. Um, you don't want to wash away the bacteria that needs to be on there that protects the, the egg. Mm -hmm. And then yes. put them in there gently. And then months later, I was so hurt. I think I cried. My, <laughs> it's so sad to think about. One of the eggs in there cracked somehow. I guess I wasn't being gentle enough or something when I was taking them out and putting new ones at the bottom. So one cracked and it messed up the entire batch. I had over 20 eggs. <laughs> Why did you over 20 <laughs> eggs and I lost all of my eggs months? I had been water glassing for months now and I lost all my eggs just because one of them cracked in the water. And when one, one of them cracks, it messes up all of them. I was so hurt, y'all. That was kind of funny. I was so hurt. Are you gonna do it again? Yes. They all I'm not doing that again. Nope, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have multiple jars this time. I'm not doing that again. You're just trying to follow what you saw on the internet. That's exactly what it was. No, I was just putting more eggs in my jar. Mm -mm -mm. You live and you learn. What? Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got back in shape last year. Very proud of that. Being in the gym is exciting. Um, I paid off my savings day gift for the first time in my life. $1,000. $2,000. Mm. So I didn't just pass my goal. I surpassed it by like a whole thousand. Ooh. And it was all due to um, oh. my social media content. So, you know, it was kind of huge for me because I never really felt comfortable asking people for stuff. And me either. So, me making the videos and just like, hey, if you love Minister, you know, feel free to donate. And people actually did. So that was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. It was very... Fun. So yeah, that happened. That was well. Yes, and if you would like to contribute to my savings they gift this year, yes, link is in my bio. <laughs> Links in my bio. Link too. is in my bio. Please, you feel free to donate whatever is on your heart. Yeah. To give. But I know we all have our own savings they gifts to pay up. So. Well, so many people are in the nation. Okay. Um. Mm -mm -mm. One thing I started doing last year. I started selling clothes again, um, and I'm working towards an upcoming project. So if you all are interested in modest clothing, stop it. If you are a sister, With this or, brother, how, or, wife, or a brother wife. who has a sister, mother, auntie, wife, I don't know. Um, if woman. you're interested in clothes, come my way. Feel free to DM me. Baby, you want to text me? No. <laughs> you have my number. Feel free to text me, um, because if you're looking for clothes, I got you. Affordable, modest, I got you. Um, we'll see. You went through a couple, so I'm just going through a couple. Some of my friends consistently came out with me on Saturdays over the summer before they went back to school, me and another one of my sisters, and that was just so amazing. Um, and I also participated in multiple women's workshops with sisters in different schools. Just young black women. I don't black. It was really beautiful. What you know, that happened? You weren't there. I would've known. I think I do remember. Wasn't it towards the beginning of the year? I did a couple. No, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, your turn. Are you sure I was laughing? Mm-hmm. Your turn. I finished reading the Holy Quran cover to cover during this Ramadan. Yay. Thanks to this magnificent human being. Praise me to the Lord. Right here. We read together. And that was the first, I think because I had someone to read with, that was the only reason why I was able to. It, something about finish. having a partner makes you feel more accountable. Mm hmm You know, they hold you accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable. But when it's just yourself, you know, it's kind of hard. Like, well, you know, you do it tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> you do it tomorrow. Or like, I'll, tomorrow. I'll catch up. And then you don't. Because no one's telling you. Ten-year-olds. Ooh, you um, 
How tall are 10 year olds? Every 10 year old is different, dear. Genetics. That's true. <laughs> I would Possibly be short. 10 years old. You have to. Depending on her size, yes. Yeah, you have to. Mm -hmm. She has clothes. I do have some extra smalls. So I may be I able think to I have fit. One junior. I can fit a ten year old's clothes. Yeah, she's <laughs> if your ten year old is the size as her. I can fit twelve fourteen. Same size as her. So if she's in a twelve fourteen, if I can fit it, she should be able to fit it. But I don't know. Every yeah, child's different. I don't know. How tall is she? I'm very tall. I'm not small. I'm not tall. I'm small. <laughs> but yeah. I also turned twenty three last year. I turned twenty last year. And twenty three was kinda of weird. Like that was the first birthday that I actually thought about turning a different age. It was kind of weird. What? I usually just like, oh, it's just another day. But for some reason, last year was different. I felt different. It was the opposite for me. Now it's like, it's just another day. I don't celebrate my birthday. Y'all didn't see me yeah. post anything because. I was going to post something. She went by me. Yeah. If I'm not posting something, how are you going to post something? <laughs> Like it's, I could be like she had a birthday a at some point in time a few months ago. It's a day it's her birthday that you know. I praise the Lord to allow that I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Good job. And we were preparing for the Vanguard retreat in ways we didn't. Like. I still have to give you a gift. She's I'm four like, eleven, eighty seven pounds. How much you <laughs> About ten pounds more than that, honestly. Yeah. Like, Not even a hundred. Okay, with the extra small. She should be able to fit. She needs pictures. It's a nice connect. I do need some photos. You guys are gonna have to connect. Or you need some photos. <laughs> you can reach out to me. Um. Yeah. At the end, you know, you can promote my services. But I'm just gonna list off everything. Okay. For like, I'm gonna do this off like three. Wait. So I'm first, I tried making. No, you egg just coffee. went. No, I didn't. You just went. You oh, said yeah, turn twenty-three. I made egg coffee for the first time. It was nice. Um, it was nice. I don't know if I did it right because I was just following a recipe book and I didn't have a video. Can you share following coffee? recipe books? You know, something about me and following like a visual instruction Can or like sure? a, the word instruction. Like I, I need a, a proper visual. I need to watch somebody do it and then I can just do exactly what they did. YouTube when I'm trying to read it and do it, I don't know. YouTube videos. I don't know what happened. Can you share? <laughs> it may have been right. I can show the recipe. Can you share what egg coffee is for those who may not know? Oh. Because that's really strange. Egg coffee someone. is coffee that's brewed with a raw egg or a couple raw eggs. It's nasty. It's supposed to um be nasty. I think take out the caffeine or something and it's supposed to make it better for your body honestly i don't know don't ask me you should do research for yourself yeah i don't want to lie to you <laughs> okay um, i drilled in our annual juneteenth parade in milwaukee for the first time and it was really impactful just to see everyone light up when they saw the MGT and the FOI. It's very cool. And then let me know that, you know, what I do is important. Who I represent, my examples, mm -hmm. important and needed in mm -hmm. our community. She's having some technical difficulties with. No, she's having technical difficulties. Her phone keeps stopping every 10 minutes. It's not stopping. They don't see it. All right. I was nominated as the recipient of the Most Distinguished Nomas Member Award. And there was a... Stop it. There was a ceremony she attended. Yeah, I was and in Sarah. they called my name. And I stood up. And... Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I was trying. there. She that on camera. She did there. She didn't post it though. Kind of disrespectful. No, I'm gonna post. I just never finished editing everything. It's my hard work. It was. It was a lot. It was a lot to record. Y'all sent me a lot of videos. I only got one. I don't know who else sent you videos. Yes, it was like very long. It was not. 
30 seconds. You stood up and then you sit down. <laughs> I spoke on a panel at the National Training Conference. I worked at the National Training Conference for the first time in my life, which was really fun. I've been going since like 2018, but I didn't work. But there's something special about working. You know? It is. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Mm. That was the first public speaking engagement. I think I'm that year. Kind of nerve wracking, but you know, I did it. Proud of myself. She on the phone? Think so. It's been a long time. Yeah, she she talks a lot. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Judging how oh. sleep. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think she... I was also at the National Training Conference, working um, mm -hmm. part of Project U. It with, was so much fun with um, Sister Lisa R. Who are you yelling at? I'm not. It's. I'm crazy. Oh, okay. Let me do this. Um. <laughs> Every time. Okay, okay. Um, working at the National Training Conference, and I was honored to be able to co host um, alongside Sister Medina and Brother Kalik um, in a panel with Brother Ishmael that was all about youth. It was called Building Tomorrow's Future Leaders Today. And then I was also honored to be alongside this sister right yes, here sir. um and moderate a workshop with sister, sister Sasha, Sasha about accepting your own and being yourself that and was not what it was about oh really no <laughs> i feel like we were just talking about this and that's what you said uh -huh. all right it was about the side of the house and it it what it did go along the lines of accepting your own and being yourself oh, praise be to a lot and that was on your list so i'm just gonna say something from my list yeah that was a lot of fun and I started making reels on Instagram in 2022. <laughs> She's the one that told me I should start making reels. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And then I started getting paid for making reels. She started blowing up. At one point. I'm not blowing up anymore. I got a shadow man. That's because you stopped. No, you stopped posting. You I stopped being consistent. No, no, no. It's just Let a me part tell of you game. It was her no. fault. It was her fault that I got shadow banned. No. Because... I it's had just been told game. how you get shadow banned. Don't do this, this, or this, and that. No. And then Nora's like, you should post this with this um, additional thing no. on there. And I'm like, I don't think I should post this because she just told me that I could get shadow banned from doing this. And Nora was like, you'll be fine. And but then after that, after that, it was never the same. Never no. the same. It was not the same. Did never the same. Posting? You lost the no, motivation. No, 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 no. I, I did lose that. I am a social but, media strategist. I literally am on here every mm -hmm. single day and I am responsible for growing multiple accounts. Uh -uh. What happens is no. you can start creating content no. and posting and get a bunch no. of views and then all of a sudden no. Instagram will be like, we uh -uh. don't need to put your content out. That's no. how I am right now. I used to get like hundreds of thousands of like 20 Look. something thousand views. And it's not happening anymore. I told her, I said, I don't think I should post this. And she told me to post it anyways. And ever since I made that post, well, <laughs> nothing was the same. That's before, what, that, before that, before she gave up. Things were good. Life is and about struggle. I posted okay? that and then it was never the same. It's about perseverance. So you know what? Who cares about the first curveball? You got to keep going. But anyways, <laughs> before that, her account was growing like so fast and so rapid to the point where she she had like more followers than me at one point mm. and then um i don't know what happened to myself i don't know it just started blowing up out of nowhere and then you got and I'm then like, you went up yeah i'm 25k now you have 25k <laughs> you thought when you sent me was 16. no my last i sent you was 20. really i'm at 25 yeah I don't remember that. But I remember her account grew really fast. And for me, that was kind of like, wow, all right. If one of my students is able to grow so fast, maybe I do know what I'm talking about. And then and I, was very proud. I stopped growing. Because she stopped posting. 
Yeah. She stopped posting. She stopped being consistent. That's on you her. You know what? I wasn't being consistent. I'm exactly. not even gonna lie. It's but you. 2023, I'm gonna strive to be more consistent because I know at the end of the day, people need. Yeah. So yeah. It's like I go on Instagram every day and I'd be looking through stuff and the, and when I see something positive, it, you know, it uplifts me. Same way with other people. So I'm just gonna strive to. It's time. <laughs> to put some positive stuff. There. Hmm. Okay. Next, Denora. Probably. I went to my first Garba. Me too. And a Garba is. I invited her to Garba. Whatever that is. Can you explain? <laughs> it's the dance. Garba. Maybe it'd be on YouTube. We shall see. I Hold do need to start posting on YouTube more. My grandmother watches my YouTube videos. It's kind of how she keeps up to date with me. And I haven't been posting them in a while. She probably thinks I don't exist anymore. Yeah, we went to a Garba. She styled my outfit and it was really nice and it was really pretty and modest pretty tall and it was it. a lot of fun i've never experienced anything like that before me either you ready we're happening garba is an indian folk dance garba is a dance that honors worships and celebrates the feminine form of divinity the word garba comes from the Sanskrit word garba, wow, meaning womb. Traditionally, the dance is performed by women in a circle around a clay lantern with a light inside called a garba deep, womb lamp. Womb lamp. Yeah. So it that. basically celebrates fertility and womb honors lamp. womanhood and pays respect to the array of the women goddesses. Yes, it was amazing. It's, it's so fascinating. Very tricky to learn. But the easy stuff, I was able to pick up, you know. And I was dancing. Do I remember the dances? Maybe. But I was dancing all. I don't like that. Being pat? Yes. But maybe you have to burp. I know. Yeah. She's playing because we're on camera right now. No, she's not. No, All right, never. last thing because it's getting late. It's been an hour now. You gotta bear with the baby. Um, give me a high five. Stop it. Give me a high five. I started representing myself more, um, what I believe and who I am, a Muslim woman in the nation of Islam, by wearing garments to school in 2022. The first semester in 2022, which was spring 2022. Um, right. was in a, I wore my first garment to a midterm and then I wore my first garment to a final and then I did that two more times for the next semester and I was, you know, I was so proud because it's, it's stages. I, of course, at my other midterms and my other finals, I was modestly dressed. I had my scarf on. I was identifiably a Muslim. However, 2022 was a year that I said, I'm not just going to be identifiable as a Muslim. I'm going to be identifiable as a Muslim in the nation of Islam. And I had my headpiece on and I presented my project. I did my thing and they loved it. Praise be to Allah. And then she did. And the last thing on my list was 2022. I made the best architecture models that I have ever made ever, ever, ever. In her life. Which yeah. is good, you know, because each year you should be getting better. So the one I'm going to make this year is going to be better than the one last year. Pray. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't know, but I pray that Allah blesses us all with peace in this new year. I know we're all going through difficult times right now. Yeah. Um... Lord, I pray that Allah blesses us all with peace in this new year. Eggs are like $10. Well, I'm going to say my last four. Um, I was a bridesmaid for the first time, which was really cool. Quite the experience. Um, I had my first party slash gathering in my new home really? here in Chicago. 
you mean when you were there? Yeah, I had my first party slash gathering. It was a lot of fun because that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to have my own place. You know, start hosting things and having some place where people can come and just enjoy themselves. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I finally started getting paid on Instagram. I think I already mentioned that. Yeah, I did already mention that, which is really nice. It's a blessing to get paid to do something that you've been doing for free for so long. <laughs> I mean, I was, I will keep doing it for free. It's just, it's kind of like, I feel like it's, it's my nice mission, my purpose. The post on Instagram? To share my perspective of the teachings. Yeah. Ministry quotes. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing that. I don't know. But. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be paid. It's a blessing. Thank God for that. And I finally hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. And if anyone is trying to th grow a YouTube channel, they know how difficult it is to grow on YouTube. And I just thank God for that. I finally hit 1,000 after <laughs> five years. YouTube is hard. I gave it up. is. You need a lot of views to I get paid. <laughs> it's a lot of editing. And I need to get back with that this year. It's a lot of editing. More YouTube videos. I'll probably repost a bunch of these. A bunch of my lives. Because I do have a show coming. That's going to be very fun. You're going to be on it. Yay. It's going to be hilarious, ladies and gents. So, yeah. I think that's everything. Why you look at me? I'm tired. Okay, well, let me find a, a positive quote to leave us with. In this new year. Do something of the, the minister about the new year. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'm giving suggestions. All right. <laughs> this is the minister speaking. He said, Every day is a chance for a new beginning. Mm. God bless us to come into today. How can we make today better than yesterday? Does it? Yeah. Raise the off. You can find that quote on Twitter. I also have another one. The minister said, quote, You are sacred. And if you don't see yourself as sacred, then you will display yourself and put yourself in positions and get yourself in conditions that destroy the sacredness of who you are. End quote. That was in a divine by woman. That just didn't ask me. Praise be to Allah. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents, and gents and ladies. That's 2022. Yay. And before we leave out, I want to say that although 2022 was the worst <laughs> year of my adult life thus far, it was not so bad because of this person right here. I didn't mean to pat your back. <laughs> but yeah, she made it not so bad, you know. That's why sisterhood was one of my main um, words that I would describe 2022. Don't make me do it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tibet Amir is not here. I'll go back. Because then we won't have those little people. Okay. Um, but yeah. It was really out. hard, but I got through it with this person here. Wait. And Amira. And the law. <laughs> but inshallah, this year will be um, less scary. <laughs> I'm trying to find another quote. My I've quotes are quotes. in my phone, so... <clears throat> They're also on your iPad. No, I don't have them connected. Honestly, y'all just have so many quotes. I don't know. I don't have anything for next year. I have women's. I have a lot of quotes for women and girls. So yeah, this is going to be a thing. Now we're picking back up on two sisters on a Thursday, right, Naya? Mm. Some Thursdays. Some Thursdays. 
maybe in every other Thursday. But the Thursdays that we're not going live, I think that's when I'm going to have my show. And you guys are really going to like the show. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have so many different people from so many different backgrounds answering questions and stuff. And we're going to laugh. And it's just going to be a good time. Because I know how to do that. Okay. You bragging? No, I just know myself. I know how to have a good time. <laughs> and bring a good time out of people. You know? But did you find yourself? Do you have anything? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I have a lot of quotes. Stop I'm letting things. Here. I have a quote by Mother Taya that says, Stop letting things happen to you. Start making things happen for you. Mm. You are the true That's right. controller of your life. If you want to change, pray, and then get up and do what you prayed for. Because there's no such thing as a mystery God. Mm -hmm. Make a plan. And make the plan make sense to you. And it's not something out of this world and it's difficult and comprehensible. But create a plan. Make baby steps. And that's how you do it. Yeah. And to add on to that, just because an unfortunate event may befall us does not mean that there's nothing we can gain from that unfortunate event. Don't just go through an unfortunate event without taking something from it. And then taking what you apply, I mean, taking what you took from it, what you learned from it, and applying that. Mm -hmm. And you get out, but. Life doesn't happen to us, it happens for us, or just situations. Remember that. All right, wow. I'm so late, y'all. I don't know what that was. She's tired. I have a really I'm good tired. quote. I'm going to say this real quick because we're going to talk about what we just said. Can, are you looking for the quote or are you, you just giving up? I mean, I just have so many quotes. Okay, this is a really good quote. I don't remember when I put this here, but Student Minister Eva Muhammad, may I love you, please, in the book A New Way of Life said that the ability to have abundant life is in direct proportion to the ability to trust in Allah God. The universe will pay you to be yourself. End quote. I got one. It's very important. This is Ephesians chapter 5. What's that? Bible. Yeah. I don't know the Bible much. I need to read it. More. I'm still reading it. Oh. <laughs> because I didn't grow up with it. I feel like if I would have grown up with it, it would be a little different. But I, mean, I didn't grow up with it. It's even difficult. I'm not telling you, it was difficult for me to read the, the Quran because I didn't understand what I was reading. Yeah. It's not really with you. Reading, you're going to understand some more. Yeah. All right. It's the last thing I'm going to say because it's going to hurt. But Ephesians chapter 5. Says, make good use of every opportunity you have because these are evil days. Don't be fools then, but try to find out what the Lord wants you to do. Do not get drunk with wine, which will only ruin you. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with the words of songs, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing hymns and psalms to the Lord with praise in your hearts. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always give thanks for everything to God the Father. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for joining this live. This is really good. Look at that. Thank you all. Peace. I don't know when we're going to come back, but mm -hmm. you all will know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>